we are live hi guys this is ADC welcome back to my channel and today it's Friday so we're gonna review and play with the new EX card release of the week Lady of Destiny so let's check it out so Lady of Destiny open this booster yep I want to buy her so as you can see another addition to the Tempus Guild the newly released Tempus Guild and finally we have the possibility to see the new, the second new uh, skill the Tempus guys introduced to the arena, in the arena. So Portal. So Portal is um, is basically the reverse of Mimic. Um, Portal uh, apply one of the negative effects, one of the, the buff you have on your hero to your opponent, and it's um, stackable. So uh, for example, if you have um, minus fifty damage. On Lady of Destiny, she will uh, with Portal that minus 50 will be copied onto your opponent, into your opponent, and if you trigger two times Portal, then minus 100 damage, and so on. So it's an interesting concept. Uh, of course, very situational. Uh, this second skill is less strong maybe than Deja Vu, but still very interesting. So let's keep Lady of Destiny. So let's talk about her. So, um, she has this new cool ability, Portal, but also she has a crazy amount of unmodifiable damage. So, she is a hero uh, all um, focused on shocks and heal. As you can see, this last uh, third skill almost deals 1000 unmodifiable uh, damages uh, with the combo between shock and heal. Also, this good amount of shock on a single red, so single red shock 250 and this portal of course has a, a great amount of uh, output, so very good. So I think the best seals for her are um, uh, is, is Thorn basically, since the heal uh, will not synergize well with um, shield nor uh, dodge and also since she has a crazy amount of shocks she will not synergize, of course, with plus damage. Uh, so the best seals for her are Thorn, and if you are worried about um, swords, maybe in the metagame, maybe Stench is a possibility too. But we will seal her Thorn. So here we go, Lady of Destiny, Thorn. So as you can see, I was playing with a multi-hitting deck. I am in Champions League right now, I haven't played much this week. So let's see how the Tempest Guild is laid out. Here, so Lady of Destiny is the fourth release for the Tempus Guild. So we almost have an entire Tempus team. So we will try to play with a complete team. Uh, so as for the fifth, fifth uh, member, we will, yeah, I will search for a, a strong hero just to <laughs> win sometimes. So I will. Oh, maybe we will try something counter with. I don't know, Lady Anenka maybe? Let's try it this way. So, crazy team, of course, no buffer, no Colossi. It's a test team for the first game to try Lady of Destiny out. Of course, Lady of Destiny will thrive in a minus damage environment since uh, her shocks are very strong against minus damage. Also against, I don't know, maybe powder or other debuffs. She is very situational, of course. Right now, in a metagame full with um, standal powerful standalones, maybe she will not uh, be the greatest hero of, of all time. But against Marlock, I think she can be useful, interesting. So, I will go with the Observer here. Mm. So, a strength team. I've had Musa. Hmm. It's not the best team to deal with with uh, the Tempus Guild, probably. But anyway, so okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I will lose big time against Ninzashi with that much hit for strength and perfect roll, of course. So as you can see. Uh, an entire team based on Tempus is yet to yet to be effective. They need a buffer and they need um, Colossus probably to be to be really use, useful in the metagame. 
but they can be used as uh, powerful standalones right now. So, of course, Lady Warrior Nenka will be strong against all this. Mm, all these warriors with powder. So, what should I do here? Mm -hmm. So, I will try to use the announcer here. Oh, so no one has joined us yet. So maybe I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh, bad roll here. Mm -hmm. We are live? Yes, we are. Okay. So maybe this is not the perfect time to stream, but today I have just uh, an hour now, and later I will not be able to, to play, so... So yeah, I will probably lose against Filiacant, as you can see, due to my bad roll, otherwise I would have won. Yep. Oh, Nicolas! <laughs> so we have someone watching. So this this game is gonna be ugly for me. Oh, we're on Inca with, hmm, with resilience. So, let's try using the watchmaker no we will ah i will try lady of destiny here let's see what she can do of course those are not the greatest heroes to play against for lady of destiny since she is useful against oh this Aggie. he i'm watching hi hi guys so lady of destiny uh is perfect against probably nihans and some zeals maybe and marlock too Oh, we have Warrior Nenka, so we should try. I want a yellow. Mm. Nah, bad roll. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna lose 3-0. That's bad. So I hope I will be able to show you the true strength of Lady of Destiny, but I, I am also a bit worried that this metagame, the metagame for this season, is not suited for her. We will try her out, but she will be very useful in the future, I think. So right now we are in, uh, in Champions League, so we will encounter any kind of deck. So we will try something different here. We will try a standalone team with, of course, Lady of Destiny to try her out. But the other four cards needs to be powerful standalones, otherwise we will not be able to win in this league. So, let's search for powerful standalones with simple rolls, maybe. And, as fifth, the almighty Marlock, the king of this metagame. So, let's try this team out. So, Lady of Destiny synergizes well with... Oh, uh, she synergizes well with Thorn, so maybe later we will try something cool with Saps. Why not? So, we have interesting... Hmm, Eglantine. So, I will try Marlock here. Ooh, not the best roll. Okay, I need to... Oh... That's bad. Of course, playing without Colossi is dangerous. Mm. So, Eglantine is strong, multi-hitting character, great amount of output, and also perfect roll for her. Very good. Mm. My fireballs will not be enough to stop her. Maybe if I was attacking, but not this way. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I lost. Oh, so Lady of Destiny will be great against Selene, I think. So that's that's good. Choose your hero, says the arena. So I will go with Warrior Nenka since Warrior is strong against Angserah and also Selene. Not so much against Fatik, but anyway, she can win against Fatik, so I need a good roll to win against him. Yeah, I have a good roll. Maybe we will be able to win. I am not so sure. 
it depends on what he rolls. So, mm, okay. So I should be able to win, maybe, I think so. He has 900 shocks, but look at that. Very good, shield. And also my bulwark will shield me from his powerful sword phase. So, okay, I won with Warrior and Inca. Oh, Gemini, Gemini with sword, with uh, dodge. <laughs> A bit an overkill, but oh, Selene. So, let's try Lady of Destiny here. Okay. Come on, let me try portal. Nah, no portal. <laughs> okay. So. I should be able to win, anyway, since all my damage is unmodifiable here. But I will not be able to use portal to... <laughs> to show you guys. But anyway, as you can see, against powerful debuffer, Lady of Destiny is very good. So what do you think about her? Because I think it's only against early fear or minus damage, not min Yeah, uh, I said that um, at the beginning of my, of my video today. So she is strong, but also very, um, very uh, situational. So she is good against minus damage, against terror, maybe against, I don't know, other uh, debuffs but not so good uh, as a whole in this uh, metagame right now. So, oh, I better roll. So, um, so right now, I think she is the most situational of the four um, Tempus guys released. That's not the same as saying she is weak. She is not weak at all, but maybe she is not the most useful uh, hero in the metagame right now. So, well, it's not like she needs to have sexual portal if she can win. Yeah, she, she can, of course. She can, definitely. Okay, good roll for me. So, she is good. But, uh, right now, in the metagame, uh, there are not so much uh, minus damage heroes. Maybe against... I'm curious to play her against Marlock. And uh, that could be a, a good matchup for her. So... I, I want to try her out against Marlock. So I tried her out against Selene, and that was smooth. Selene is the perfect hero to deal with with Lady of Destiny. Very good. So I want to try her against Marlock. I suspect the uh, crazy amount of um, output that Marlock has will be too much, but I'm not so sure about that. So I want to try. Mm, choose your hero. I will go with Marlock here. So, against B7X, so as you can see, Marlock's uh, very good, not, also, not, not only for his um, minus damage, but also for his incredible output, so I think Marlock should be nerfed, maybe, or slightly, at least. Since his first skill, in particular, is very synergic with the second one, is maybe too much. Look at his output. <laughs> Almost 4,000. It's incredible. So. Oh, Master Mage Kire, another great hero. So. Okay, Eglantine with this much damage is too much to handle for both Warrior Anenka and Lady of Destiny. I will try with Spatic, but I have a bad feeling about this. I need the perfect roll of... With another yellow, maybe. Mm, not a perfect roll. So let's hope for <laughs> bad luck. Oh, so not bad luck, but also not the best roll. But I think maybe we'll be able to beat me. Or maybe not. Yeah, barely won. Very good. So now. Ooh, against Milad, so I will go with Lady of Destiny, of course against Octavia and Master Mage Kire I will lose, but I can win against Milad. Of course Portal in this case is not so good against um, Thunderstruck since uh, Lady of Destiny does not uh, use uh, the plus damage, but anyway I think I will win for, uh, by brute force, brute output, let's see if I'm right. With Thorn she has a great amount of 
very great, impressive amount of unmodifiable damage, so I should be able to win easily. Yeah. Okay, so 3-0, very good. So, Lady of Destiny won again, but this time against uh, the buffer. Oh, Master League. Yeah. So I need to try try her against stronger opponents. Maybe she is uh, she is good also against. Oh, that's she throws. That's a serious player. Hi. So she is very good also against heroes like um, Warrior and Inca, probably. Oh, so now, what should I do? Iliana can counter Marlock big time. So. Should I try? Yeah, I will go with Selena here. Iliana maybe will be okay. The best choice. Of course, I will try to win, but oh, but I will not, probably, since Iliana has the fourth role. Can be a devastating opponent to Selena. Yeah, look at that. Very good. So the good thing about this, I all my output was in the first skill so maybe so her dodge will be not useful oh maybe i should be able i would be able to win yeah that was the only role <laughs> viable so i had luck so against warrior and inca lady of destiny is very good since um warrior suffers uh, shockers and healers too that can bypass her bulwark and shield so very good matchup against Warrior Nenka. Not so good against Tanksera, of course. So against Krakos. Can I win against Krakos with Lady of Destiny? Probably yes. But I will try with Marlock the, the Repentance since uh, Warrior Nenka is a problem uh, for Marlock. And so I, I prefer to use Lady, um, Lady of Destiny against her. So I want to use my Marlox... Oh. oh, come on. I wanted to use my Marlock as soon as possible to avoid the problematic matchup against Warrior Inca. Okay, perfect roll from Krakos. I will lose, of course. Bad luck against good luck, but also Krakos has the fourth roll, so it's, it's fine. Playing Marlock without Colossi is a bit dangerous, so... Okay, so I will go with Warrior and Inca here. Best move would be to use Warrior and Inca herself, probably against me, a mirror match. Since Marlock, yeah, I want to try the match at Marlock versus Lady of Destiny. Anyway, okay, Warrior and Inca, so she trolls, knows what is doing. Maybe another red, perfect, okay. So I will win this matchup. Very good. All shield. I guess all shield, but I had a, a hit more, so that's good. Anyway, so Warrior and Inca is a key character in the metagame right now since uh, in attack she, she counters Anxra and in defense she counters Marlock, so. She has great matchups, very good. So now, Angsra against Fatik and Lady of Destiny against Marlock. Should I, will I be able to win at least one of the two matchups? Not so sure about that, but I'll try. So, how? What do you guys think about Portal? I think is a is a good, of course, good skill. Not as revolutionary as Deja Vu was. But also interesting, something we did not see in the arena yet. Oh, no, she draws maybe a disconnection here. Or a disconnection or a, or a rage quit, I hope for the disconnection. I'm sorry, I will try again with this team. It's the most suited team for her uh, right now. And then we will try with subs giving Lady of Destiny a crazy amount of, of um, form could be very interesting since, since she tries on unmodifiable damage. Oh, another powerful Nods team. 
hide that. So, what should I do? So, Warrenenka is strong both against Master Mage and Ileana, but not so much against Krakos, so I will sacrifice Silene against Ileana, probably. But I want Ileana out for good, since she is great against my Warrior Anenka, so I want her out. I prefer to sacrifice Silene against her, or win with luck, as I did before, but... Okay, not a good roll. Yeah, that's a good roll, but uh, <laughs> I'm not against Ileana, but I will try, maybe, if I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm not. So, okay. So, powerful shock. Yeah, very good. So, now, oh, we have Telmank. Hi, so, Telmank is good, also Warrior Anenka, I need Warrior Anenka to win against mm, heroes with, mm, with critical, so I need to win against Krakos, what should I do? I will try Lady of Destiny, and we will see if, if she can win against Krakos, ooh. Oh, bad roll. That's unfortunate. Okay, it does not have the best roll either, but it will win, probably. Yeah. Ah, that was bad. I could have won with a yellow. Mm. She can fuck hard, reset tackle. Yeah, she can. So now, Problem is, he will go with Telmank. So now I will go with Marlock here, he will go with Telmank, and then I will pair. Oh, uh, yeah, I will pair my Lady Anenka, uh, my Warrior Anenka, sorry, with Marlock and my Sphatic against Master Mage Kirin. I don't know if that will be enough, but anyway. Oh, come on. Ah. So I, that will not happen, I will lose here. Okay. Ah, that was bad, bad game, bad luck. Okay, so let's try her out with the sub team. That's an interesting team. So Lady of Destiny with a crazy amount of Thorn. So let's go. So I want the Hailwalker. Then I want Camo, Taraxa, of course, and as the fifth hero, I will try Lore Me Out. She is very good in the metagame right now, so let's try this crazy team. You don't want to underestimate Lore Me, she has good matchups in this meta, so very good. Mm -hmm. So we have this powerful shocker this this week. Yeah, I like her. I don't like her out artwork, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, okay, another standalone team. Marlock, Alud, and Anxera. So I will go with Loremi. Loremi can win against Anxera due to her. Uh, trigger on the blue die and also against Marlock she can do damage since she has this dodge Alud so Alud oh that's a good roll for me perfect roll with Loremi very good I should be able to win easily so he rolled double blue that was a smart move Yeah, and I should be able yeah, to win easily, no matter what. So now, oh, we're an Inca without seals, so that's interesting. Let's see. So Taraxa is good against Warrior Inca, of course, as Lady uh, is. 
So Marlock, Marlock the Repentant here. So I want to try the Eye Walker with Lady of Destiny. So I will try to have luck with my Taraxa. Let's see. A yellow maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Another, another heal. Yeah, that's not bad. The dodge will be wasted, but let's hope for bad luck. And bad luck it is. So I will win against Marlock. Very good. So, one heal, two heals, and three heals. Okay, perfect. And now, let's go with the Hellwalker. Let's go. Oh, she, he has Taraxa also. So, I'll try to buff Lady of Destiny as much as I can with all this form. Of course, thanks, Sera. Okay, maybe full buff. Let's hope. Nope, not full, but anyway, a good amount of buff. Haywalker is strong against Tank Sera in defense. In attack, um, of course, Tank Sera can deal with the force thanks to his spellbreaker. So. But anyway, Hellwalker is a good buffer right now, since a lot of multi-hitters multi are rampaging through the arena. So, very good. So now we have this Lady of Destiny with 154, that should be great against Warrior Anenka. So I will pair Lady of Destiny with Warrior Anenka. Let's go. Let's see what I can do. So sh Portal is not the best right now I need okay that's a perfect roll yeah okay no bulwark so portal will be highly effective against his shield that will be an easy win I think GG easy one two shield bash but not so strong and then shock plus heal combo very good so, I won. So Lady of Destiny, as you can see, is uh, great against Warren Inca, but that was clear. All uh, shockers are good against Warren Inca, basically. She's the queen of the defense, but not against everyone. So, let's try again with this team. I really like Saps. And they're quite um, underestimated right now. No one is playing them, but they can win. They can win. Of course, Nods are the uh, most used guild right now, so no one is using a full guild. Uh, the majority of uh, powerful teams are mixed team with the powerful standalones. But if you had to choose a single um, guild right now is Nods, thanks to Iliana and Marlock, of course. Marlock is the king of the metagame for this season. Everyone is playing him. And so, if you have to play a Colossus, it will be Krakos probably. So, Filia Kant. Hmm. Filia Kant is strong. So, I will go with Taraxa to use my dodge to counter his sword phase, maybe. And strength, I minus mean strength. So, very good. Mm hmm. Okay, so he went for the strength. I only have one dodge, but it should be enough, probably. I'm not sure. sure. It should be, since uh, my thorns and my minus strength should do the, the work for me. Let's see if I'm correct. Yeah, I am. So, let's go with the Oh, the A Walker is not good thanks to the announcer. So I will go with Camo here. Hmm. So. So I need 
I need a perfect form roll, probably. Okay, I have one. Oh, he will, <laughs> yeah, he will win, basically, with his Noble Shock. Or maybe not, <laughs> since it's, oh, 600 Shock, so, yeah, oh, 1000. Was it? Yeah, I won, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, Eglantine, and I will go with the Ale Walker, maybe. Yeah, I will. Okay. Blue, blue, that's perfect. Another red, so... Okay, perfect debuff, that's good. Mm-hmm. So, very good. So now, we have two powerful heroes. So Lady of Destiny should be good against the announcer. Norimi, though, will be good against Silene. So I will go with Lady of Destiny here. Silene is better, probably, in defense since our shocks oh so i will go like that okay another blue maybe okay perfect roll for me will i be able to beat silene don't think so he went for the full sword full sword roll So now, Deja Vu, what will it copy? It will copy Lady of Destiny's last skill. Come on, another... Uh, okay, another red, that was perfect. So Lorimi is perfect against the announcer since the Smythe will not be good. Also, okay, a crazy amount of shock, but that's not a problem at all. I should be able to win thanks to this crazy amount of forms. So, okay, let's go. One and two, very good. Okay, so I won another match with this sub team with Lady of Destiny. So, let's try again. Ooh, Dead Eyes, he's a great player, right now is one of the top players in this season, so I have to be careful though. Loremi should be good enough. The best thing would be Warrior and Enka against her, probably, yeah. Okay, another yellow should be good, but also, also they hit. Okay, so I will go this way. The dodge will be useful. Oh, and uh, sorry, the second dodge would, would be would have been useful against the shield bash. Hmm. So I will probably lose. Yeah, I would I needed the second dodge. Uh I did a mistake. Should have kept only two reds and gone for the second dodge. Yeah. That was my mistake. So... So now, Angsera... Yeah, I think I will not be able to win with both Taraxa and Lady of Destiny, so I will sacrifice Camel to counter her. Yeah, perfect, perfect thorn. But, oh, bad roll. So Camo will win. 
Sorry, Angsera, but Dead Eyes uses only powerful standalones without Colossi, so sometimes he has uh, bad luck. So now, the Hailwalker. So Dead Eyes team is a very good standalone team, I have to say. This Alud here is good in particular matchups, so. And also, he is playing like a fool these days. <laughs> Again? No, single blue, that's bad. So now, Taraxa can win against Sfatic, maybe. Lady of Destiny, I don't, I'm not so sure she can win against Marlock. But I will try. I will try. So Marlock will dodge here. Hmm. Not so sure. Best things would be to come at me with Sfatic here, probably. And yeah. Yes. So, Traxa can win against Fatix, but I'm not so sure Lady of Destiny can win against Marlock. What should I do, guys? On the other hand, Traxa's dodges are good against Marlock's first skill. So I will try Lady of Destiny against Fatic. Let's see what she can do. Okay, double portal. I need a yellow. Mm. No, not a yellow. Mm. Yeah. Too much. I will not be able to win. Yeah, maybe Taraxa could have won, but not against this perfect roll anyway. So I would have lost even with Taraxa here. Against this perfect role, so dead eyes. He's very good. I lost to him a few times this this morning. He has a lot of luck, I have to say. With a team without Colossi, he always pull out at least a, a couple of perfect roles. So very good. Also, he has a a powerful team, I have to say. He has the best standalones in the game. Oh, Prejo, Prejo is a friend of mine. Hi, man. So, hello, says Dark Ray. Hi, man. We are trying Lady of Destiny out. She is good. She has potential. But she's not so good right now in this metagame. <laughs> so we will have to wait to see her in the arena, probably. So, Silene. Hmm. I will go with Tarax against her. I need some blue dice. Oh. Perfect. Oh, who am I? One, two, three. Will I be able to win? Not so sure. Yeah, her strength is too much to handle, unfortunately. She is good. Selena also maybe needs something. So I will go with Camo here. Best thing will be Zehani, maybe. Not so sure. I have to be careful though, since the announcer can copy the form from Camo, so I need to trigger a single hit, a single third skill. So now, sorry, I have a text I have to reply to. Okay, so I need another yellow pro. Okay, that's the role I wanted. So very good. Okay, should be able to win easily. Of course, Zehani will counter my first hit, but then the other two will go. And my form will be too much to handle. So that's good. So now, against Marlock, he will probably come at me with Marlock here. I will, I will go with the Eyewalker no matter what. So, this Stambus Guild is very interesting. A lot of situational heroes, but anyway. 
when the Colossus can, will come out, I think we will see something good. So maybe with a perfect roll, I can win against Anxera. Should I? Yeah, I will try to win. Let's see if I can. Oh, against this roll? Probably I can. <laughs> Bad luck. But also the Awoker is strong against Anxera in defense, as I was saying before. So. So now. Hmm. I will go with Lorimi. Lorimi is best in attack. And if Lorimi will lose, I will use Lady of Destiny in defense. Best thing here, I don't know, maybe Marlock. But I should be able to win with both Marlock and the announcer. So Prejo is in a bad situation. Yeah. Oh, that's a good roll. But I want the blue one. Oh, no, I cannot refu refuse <laughs> if three dodges here. You're too strong against Marlock. Okay. Sorry, man. Three dodges, too much. Yeah. Very good. So I won. So this sub team is good. Of course, so maybe, yeah, we are gaining points. So let's try something different here with Lady of Destiny. So Lady of Destiny synergizes with Thorn. We we've, we've seen that. Well, she is a Gwemelite, so she does not synergize with plus damage nor with rage. So no arenas. Hmm. What should we? play with her. Maybe she is a priest. So why not? Trying to use a priest deck. Yeah, why not? We haven't tried a priest deck in this video, so why not? Savilat? Yeah. And other priests. So, oh, not Avalonian priest only, but also other priests. So, ooh, we have the announcer and we will use him. And then, so what should we play with? Mm -hmm. Priest deck. So, should be strong in this meta game. Ooh, so Lady Bill can be strong in this meta game, maybe. Also, Nexidam. Nexidam. Not so sure. Hmm. Great Duke. It's not enough against Marlock, I think. Also, we need to synergies with Sevilat, so we need multi-hitters or something like that. So we will play with Dictatus, of course. Dictatus is one of my favorite priests. And why not? Why not try Bubblies? Yeah, why not? Let's try. So, Priest team, that's unexpected, I think. That's not something you <laughs> you expected. But I will try, him, try it. I always try new teams in Must League. I don't like to play unranked games. I prefer to lose points. But I think you can only see if a team works in the arena, in the ranked games. Choose your hero! So, a strength team. Hmm. So I will begin with Bubblies since I want to spare Dictatus for later. Dictatus will be useful against crazy guys like she. So Dildo Daggins, great, great player. Also, he is playing this um, Kotoba team. And that's interesting since no one else is playing Kotobas in Must League except Dildo. So Dildo Daggins is good player and also likes to play unexpected things, so I agree with him, I am positive with this kind of attitude. So, against Ogwe Kage, so we need powerful purifies. Yeah, oh, that's the perfect role for me. 
Oh, come on. Very good. So my Tyro should be able to stop his hits. Of course. Yeah, he should be able to win. Very good. Of course, my last hits will not trigger. Probably. But I will be able to win, nevertheless. Okay, too much minus damage, but also he has a lot of terror, so very good. This starts well, so I have a lot of smites. Oh, so, so, so. Of course, Lady of Destiny is not good against these free heroes. Oh, I forgot that. Lady of Destiny does not synergize well with Sevilat. So this team could be great, but not for Lady. So Lady does synergize with basically only with form, as for buffs. So mm. So I will try her out. I'm counting. Oh, I have a lot of portal here. Okay, not a perfect roll, but almost. Shurikan can hit hard with blues. Oh, perfect roll for him. So, so Priest team. I think I can win this, um, this game. Great amount of output for Lady of Destiny, but not enough to stop Shurikan. Of course, Shurikan is great. Monkey output dealer. So Master Ma against Sevilat, I think. And I can win. I can win this match. I think I will win it with Sevilat against Master Ma, and then Dictatus will smite hard she. Hoping. I'm hoping that. <laughs> of course. So he is thinking. Hmm. So this priest team is not good for Lady of Destiny. Maybe the best team for her was the sub team I used before. Oh! So she he wants to counter Sevilat hard. So I will need to go full buff here since I will not beat Zia. Not a chance. Okay. Good blessing. So Dictatus here is a machine. <laughs> can deal easily 4,000 damage and more but also the announcer is strong right now so let's see what I can do here of course I'm not able to beat Zia that was expected so now waiting for my enemy What should I do here? Probably Dictatus is the best choice against she. So I will go with the announcer against Master Ma. He will come at me with Master Ma, that's for sure, I think. That's not even something to think about it. I, I'm not so sure. Maybe he will try with she, but that seems no, that's he needs to count to count my bad luck. He needs to go this way. So another Okay, that should be an easy win. Should be, at least. Oh, so that's that's crazy. So I need a good roll to smite she hard. But if I miss, <laughs> then she will ruin me with a crazy amount of damage. So that's, that's a, it will be fun. It will be fun. Let's see what she can do. Huh. So right now, I need... Okay, that's a good start. Okay, that's a good start. Not a perfect roll, so... Oh! Oh, come on! I'm not so sure I will... Okay, I have a crazy amount of output. Will it be enough? Okay, yeah, I will probably win. 
thanks to ba uh, Save Last Buff. <laughs> Look at that. Very good. <laughs> that was fun. So, I won a single battle with my priest team. <laughs> so, that's good. So, we will continue playing with Lady of Destiny, but yet another. So, 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 so. Oh, so we said thorns are good for her, so we will try a different kind of thorns. We will try Nihan's thorns. Why not? Nihan's are. Oh, I'm sorry. Nihan's are underused right now. But maybe we can do something about them. So, why not? Where is. Okay, that three. I have yet to seal him. I will do it in a moment. And then Big Daddy. Yeah, I like Big Daddy. So, that three is good with both thorns and, and maybe dodges. So, I'm. Mm, I need to choose between thorns and dodge, dodges. So dodge is not so good in the metagame right now since a lot of them are multi-hitters. In the best heavy hitters I have the heavy hit in second skill, so I will go with thorn on him. Yeah, I will go with thorn. Let's try this team out. Another... Another foreign team, but this time different one. So we have a Colossus, so we have the fourth roll on four out of five heroes. Choose your hero. Oh, we have multi-hitters, so I will hit with my death three. So death three is slightly less effective as a buffer maybe than Haywalker, but he is stronger as a multi as a, sorry, as a Standalone, his first skill is crazy. Okay, okay, perfect roll. So, Filikan will try to win with powder, and he can, of course. So, that three, um, keep in mind that three is also good with um, stench if you happen to encounter a lot of. Um, Strength user in the metagame. Right now, not a lot of strength users are present. Filiacant is the best among them, probably. Yeah. Okay, of course he won, and that's good. But I have a lot of horn here. So against Milad, Lady of Destiny should be enough. Alejandro said, hello, hello, Ale. You have my same name, also with a Spanish turn on it. So Lady of Destiny should be able to win against Milad and also I will debuff <laughs> Milad herself and I will use that for my second portal. So yeah, should be able to win. Okay, and then I will unleash my Abigor and my Big Daddy Okay. 3000 damage for Lady of Destiny. Very good. Okay. Oh, Marlux Golem with damage. That's not a good move. So, what should I do? I will go with Abigor. Abigor has those fireballs. Very good against multi hitters. Also, with, in combination with the thorns, should be enough to win. Oh, so against Marlos Golem, hmm. I need to search for the, yeah, yellow. Okay, that's the role I wanted. That's good. Oh, he went full strength. So maybe he will win thanks to his repost. Yeah. Will it be enough? Not so sure, but hey, is Marvelous Golem? So yeah, I should have went for the full fireball, but that was not easy. So against the Psalm, I will go with Big Daddy here, and Big Daddy is <laughs> so. Should I? Big Daddy is also strong with plus damage. 
Okay, I will try for the... Mm. Let's try for luck. Okay, that's a bad roll. Very bad one. I will count everything <laughs> on my last skill. Will that be enough? Not so sure about that. <laughs> yeah, thanks to the forms, I won. So very good. So now, I guess Master Mage, I need a perfect roll. I need another blue, at least. Come on. Okay. Okay, that's perfect roll. I'm not so sure that will be enough. Not at all, to be honest. Master Mage is great with plus damage. So, let's see what we can do. Yeah, <laughs> we was trumped by Touch Sun. Very good. So, that's an interesting team, to be honest. But I will make a change. I will seal Big Daddy with plus damage. Since I want him to be good even with the red and blue Yes, I will go for the damage seal. That's good. Okay. So let's try again with this Nihans. Another couple of games in this streaming. Oh, against Serendipity. DPT. So, what should I do? I will go with Abigor. Hi. Of course, Bess is a good choice against Abigor, but also the Oja. Thanks to his strength and life drain. Oh, she's so. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bad matchup for me. I will try with this roll. That's a good roll, but I don't think it will be enough. Oh! Bad, bad roll for him. So, yeah, I will be able to win. He missed the other red, so wait amount of life drain, but that should not be enough to stop me. Yeah. So first one went good. So now I will unleash that tree. Regardless of the euro, he will attack me with yeah that tree, and I will try full the full buff here since. I'm not... I don't think I can win against Alud. No, I will go for the full buff. Okay, a lot of thorns. Very good. 100 thorns on my heroes. That's good. So that three is a good buffer. So Nihans, maybe, have something to say in this metagame. They can use Fatik. That's one of the best cards in the game. They have a a good Colossus, not the best one, probably. The best one right now is uh, Bess, probably. And Caravan is the second best one. The most used is Krakos, thanks to <laughs> Almighty Marlock. Also, we have Warrior Inca. Warrior Inca is good against Lady of Destiny. So, I will go with... Hmm... Sfatic. Fatik can win against Angsraf, maybe. Yeah, let's see if I'm correct. I need blues. I need blues. Oh, come on. Ah. Even with the fourth roll. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Serendipity was even more unlucky than I was. I'm sorry. That's the second bad roll you have. You had in this game, so that's not that's not good. I won thanks to the thorns. So now we're an Inca against Lady of Destiny. Yo Ale, how about Nomad Tempus? Since many have shocks and synergize well with Destiny, why not? I will try that in a minute. So I will go with Lady of Destiny. She should be able to win against an Inca, but uh, but not so easily. Okay, not the perfect roll. Okay, I'm not so sure I can win against this roll. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I have to play Big Daddy against Bess. And it should be good. Big Daddy is strong against Bess, usually. So Nomad Tempus. Yeah, why not? Okay, so Big Daddy is all up to you. Oh, let's search for different. Yeah, maybe it's too much. <laughs> oh, well, what should I do? Yeah, I will go for the safest role. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I went for the luck roll and I missed. So then I switched back. I'm not so sure I can win like that. Let's see. Yeah, I can. Big Daddy is too much with this much forms. So I won. So now for the last game of this. Also, I went up with these crazy teams. So a nomad tempus. So let's search for nomads. Nomads means Bess, of course. Anxera, of course. Ziani is strong right now, so I will play with her. And then for the last another Tempus. So I will try with the announcer. So let's try this team out. That's the last team I will play this Friday. Oh, setting DPD again. Hi man. So the Oja has Eclipse, and that's bad for me. Also, ho oh, ho! So maybe we will be able to do something fun with Lady of Destiny here, since the Oja suffers Eclipse, so, so we can effectively, effectively use Portal against him. <laughs> Let's see. Should be fun. Ah! So he went for... yeah. So he knew that. Smart move. Smart move, sending DPT. That's good. Portal would have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> very good. So he was smart. Lady of Destiny could have been very powerful. So I will go with Anxera here. Mm, that's an interesting game. Oh, Angsera against Angsera. Okay, another bl blue please. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good roll. Should be enough to win. Yep, I have a better roll than he does, of course. He has multiple spellbreakers, but not the second powerful skill. And I have that. So, one backstab, two backstabs. Okay. Three damages with this horse, that's enough. So now, oh, Ziani. So I guess Master Mage Ziani is good, of course, but only in defense. So right now, hmm. So I think he is, yeah, I guess Bess. So I will go with Bess here. With a full blue roll, I should be able to win easily. Maybe another blue? No, but that's that should be fine. Let's see, okay. So, should be able to win easily. Since I'm in defense, Bess is not good against Bess in attack, of course. Can be effective as an attacker Bess, but not against another best. And now, and now, what should I do? So, ah, okay, so he wants to, <laughs> he wants to counter my announcer since my Deja Vu would copy the first skill from Bess. So, hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, I will go with the announcer. 
probably I will lose. Yeah. But I will try something different here. Oh, I want the yellow. Okay, no. Okay, I was not lucky. I wanted the yellow. I wanted to try to go full sword on him. But I didn't roll the yellow die, so... Okay. Ziani is still one of the best, if not the best, defender in the game. She is very good. She is specialized on defense and she can be very effective against Master Mage in defense, so I think I have the upper hand here, since I will be able to shield me from, my, from his lightning. Okay. So, the second Scarab is rather useless since he has this Spellbreaker, so... Okay, that's better. Maybe the third... Okay, that's the best roll possible against Master Mage, so... I'm sorry, Master, but I should be able to win. Yep. Should be. Bam! And Scarab cures me. Then, of course, he has... Yeah, it's not enough. Okay, so I won. That's good. Very good. So, okay, so I won with this strange team. <laughs> this uh, stream was good for me. Look at that. I, <laughs> I collected a lot of points. So I, was, I, was, I collected 50 points, basically, with this team, with crazy teams, with random cards. So <laughs> very good. Uh, so I was in Champion League when I started this stream, and now <laughs> I'm in the middle of the Master League, so why not? That's good. So anyway, guys, so as for Lady of Destiny, as you can see, she can be quite useful and quite uh, strong, but she is very situational, so you will, you will need to wait maybe for a different metagame to come up, but Lady of Destiny will be your trump card, maybe if uh, the metagame turns to minus damage, or to Eclipse, or something like that. So Lady of Destiny can be, can be effective in the future. Right now, this is not the time to play her in Master League, maybe, but that in, in lower leagues she can be quite useful, she has good matchups. So, don't underestimate her, so go get her, and we will see each other on Monday with the Monday release uh, stream, and as of right now, ADC is out. Have a nice weekend, guys.